Hello everyone and welcome to IndieQuest. I'm going to be playing Temple Tap. It's by Heroic Stan. This marks the first time I'm going to be playing a um, iPad, iPhone exclusive game that's not for the computer. But let's go right into this. This is basically like that Simon game where you have to press the colors in the right order as they blink. This looks pretty easy now, but it gets pretty difficult as you go on. Um, what I like about the game most is the graphics. Um, it does add a lot to this game. Um, definitely more than you, if you were just playing a simple Simon game because it's offering like visual rewards. Like this. A broken coin! Why does he take a, a broken coin out of an entire chest full of gems and gold? This guy's like OCD. He just like opens up the treasure chest and he's like, Oh yay! Oh look, another one! I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of these look like letters. I'm not sure if the ancients, uh, we based our alphabet off the, these ancient letters, or if they based them off ours because they were lazy. Darn it! Yeah, I'm not very good at, um, <laughs> memory games. I have a very bad memory. Hope you enjoy the toilet flushing in the background. Can't be helped, though. Who decided on this puzzle for, like, these places? It's like, we'll protect our treasures with this complex system, and, like, just like a three-year-old comes in and does it. It's like, hmm, maybe we should make it harder and add one more. Um, something else the game offers as well is that you can, uh, buy stuff with the coins you get, with the one coin you get per level. Or maybe you get more, I don't know. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese! Look very closely at that coin, that looks like Chuck E. Cheese. This is the temple of Chuck E. Cheese. Where's the pizza? <laughs> Man, I'm doing pretty good. I'm hoping there's gonna be like a boss battle at some point. Uh... Yes! Uh... Yay! I did it! Yeah, I don't know if any of you noticed, but this, um... This guy looks like a kid, basically. I'm thinking, what's this kid doing here? And one thing, he can jump across these. He does not need me to do this for him. Whoops. Oh, yeah, this is... Um, for some of them, you have to hit them twice. There was a tutorial on it, the first time I went through. I'm glad it did that. Maybe they should have, like, a repeat of that. For those who don't pay attention that well. <laughs> he just steps on the cracked ones and falls through. Ah! Well, I guess you're stuck in that pit forever. Bet you wish you went back and got all that treasure from before. Oh, come on! I pressed both! This is why I hate touchpads. Okay, so E, B, B, E. E, B, E, A. E, B, E, A. Uh, whoops. Oh, I just realized something. They all remained cracked. Even when you move on to the next level, that stinks. Whoop, oh, another broken coin. Oh, no they don't. I guess not. Bonk. Bonk. I'm not sure what that green thing is with the coin, or whatever that is. I'm interested to find out, because if you mess up once, it just disappears forever. <laughs> uh, end soon, I can't think of all this. Ooh, I got it! Yay! 
I'm a genius. Uh. Yes. I'm the master at tapping temples. Okay, move on. Uh. A. A B. A B. A. It's a lot more exciting to play than this. Wait. I wasn't paying attention. What? Learn it. <laughs> Man, that's just the thing you need, like, if you were to pick a team and, like, you happen to pick all the people that were just, like, oblivious to what was going on. Or just, like, really bad memory. Whoops. Like me. It's like, quick, I wasn't paying attention. I, really, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Game over. But he's just, like, forever stuck in darkness. Oh, darn it, you didn't do as Simon said, so now you're just dead. Okay, let me show you the relics. Okay, what's this? Hey, a goblin! Monkey, come find me. And bring with you that much money, if you ever want to see your puppy again. Uh... Now this is a stupid looking elephant. It looks like he's wearing a pair of goggles or something, or dual monocles. Elephant allows for an extra retry per level before game over. Four strikes versus three strikes. Oh, okay. But I don't have that much gold. If only I had, like, come across some kind of treasure chest that was filled with millions and millions of gold pieces. Oh, I guess that's never gonna happen. <laughs> what the? This stick looks like it's sticking its tongue out at you. Hmm... The wolf activates the two times coin multiplier. Come on. Go back. Yeah, I like this bird. Showing off his stuff. The peacock removes partially broken coins and replaces them with full coins. Now that I could go for. Considering that my guy has a tendency just to take the broken coins out. It's like, oh, I'll add this to my collection of broken things. What the? <laughs> this thing looks like it's. Uh, look at the, its eyebrows. It looks like it's going. Ooh! Man, those are some big ears. Unu uh, usable only once per stage. Use wisely. Okay. I'll use that bat wisely. Hey, Yoda! With whiskers. It's, uh, it's a eat. Or a cat. I think it's an eat. The cat resets the stage after your third st strike. But it's only usable one playthrough at a time. Okay. A hippo! No, it's an alligator. <laughs> Look at its eyes, it's like giving you the puppy dog eyes. The gator eyes. Now, probably one of my favorite ones right here is you have the. What is it? Mono. Like. I don't even know what to call this. It just looks like it has, like, electronical eyes. The electronical hippo allows you to start at the highest difficulty level. And I can't afford any of this. Well, I don't really have much uh, else to say. I do like the music of the game. And it definitely is a good training exercise for your brain if you want to, I don't know, increase your memory. Or if you want to show, uh, show off to people and say, Hey, this is how good my memory is. I suggest playing this first before you try that. Boom! There we go. Boom, boom. I want to sing a song to this. I've got to. I've got to be. I've got to be. I've got to be bad. I've got to be bad. Ooh, another treasure chest! Seriously, I would not want to go on an expedition with this guy. He just, like, has a thing for opening up all closed cases. Let's open up that sarcophagus! But oh, we should wait until we get back. No, let's open it up now! Oh, you're gonna crush your fingers! I don't care! 
We can all open up my hand to operate it after I crushed out my fingers. Darn it, I wasn't paying attention. Which one is it? Uh, I'm glad it repeats it. If I can add a suggestion for this, I would have a le level select. Because I don't want to go through these easy levels. I want to go straight to the hard ones. These easy ones aren't testing me at all. They're just testing my ability to pay attention. Which definitely isn't going to improve by playing this. Alright, I guess that's it for this episode of Andy Quest. Check out the game through the description below. And check out um, Heroic Stand to keep an eye on them. Oh, that was a gem. I like gems. They're pretty. Alright, see you everyone.